Hi everyone, this is Emmy Moon and I am a psychic and a card reader and um, I conduct readings on a daily basis and today I want to give a, a reading, I guess to the general public um, for the month of, I mean the month, for the week of, the first week of November. Today is October 30th, but I want to do it for the first week of November. It's now to the first week of November, about the 7th. And the card, the deck that I'm going to be working with is the Spirit Messages deck by John Holland. I love this deck. I love it. It, it just came out. And I find that, let me just leave it there, this deck, this deck um, works best for daily readings with yourself. It's an oracle deck, and it works best for messages of the self. What spirit has to tell you? What spirit is telling you? What spirit is guiding you? What message spirit has to tell you? What advice spirit is telling you? Um, what is something you need to pay attention to? And spirit, you know, it doesn't matter what religion you are in, it doesn't matter what belief, spirit is all around you. And these are your guides, known and unknown. These are your guides that are around you that are trying to give you messages. I find that every time I use this deck, it just gets more and more, um, the message gets more in tune, more connected, you know, it's more on point, I can even say. And what I personally do is take a card, I pray a bit, and then just flip it over, and I just leave it on my one of my shrines, on my table, and I just focus on it. So it's messages from spirit that they have for you. And this is just some of them. And I feel it to be very accurate. And it's just one card that will give you, see the choices, the message for to, to focus on. I do tarot readings, I do Lenormand readings, you know. I do um, a lot of card readings, but I find that this is one that could connect for just one card readings and something that you could focus on for yourself. And it's best for self-growth and self-meditation. I love it. I love it. I have a lot of angel decks, but this one of just spirit works the best. And I want to, okay, that's just some of them. I want to today help everyone who's watching this video to receive a message of spirit and to to focus right now let's see I have three crystals um, I'm gonna put a card in front of each one of them and then I want you to focus on which one spirit is telling you to pick and I know this reading is for um, October 30th to November 7th but even if you if you come to find this video later on and stumble upon it, you could do this reading for yourself and the message from spirit, it will still be accurate. All you have to do is simply focus on which card spirit is telling you to connect with. I'm going to flip the card over and that's the message that spirit has for you. Um, this is my YouTube channel. I will be doing different kind of readings, but I am really going to try to do a general reading weekly for the public. And I feel that it can help a lot of others and people could get clarity as well. And a lot could benefit from this. So here we go. I'm going to go and shuffle the deck first. Then we can start from there. So before all readings, look how beautiful, look how beautiful. <clears throat> we ask God to always come in, intervene, 
and ask God to please surround us with just your protective spirits, good spirits, our protective spirits that are unknown and known to us and just to guide us and lead us in the direction. And please help give us clarity on the information that you want us to know. Um, it's a card, but also there's messages behind it, you know. Look and dig deeper into that message of what the card is giving you, you know. And I ask for our archangels, angels, protective spirits, and guides, ancestors, eggs, to be with us right now. And just give us the clarity of what you want us to know. <laughs> guide us. Guide us and please help us during our day, during our life, and give us clarity and open up our minds, our senses to understand and receive your message. Thank you. Okay, so I'm going to go and shuffle the cards now. There's no, <clears throat> I'm talking while I'm shuffling. There's no specific way to shuffle. There's no right or wrong way to shuffle. I love when people ask that question because you know what? There's none. It's the right or wrong way to you. It's what feels best for you. The card is going to come up for what the card needs to come up. Right now I'm shuffling into what feels right and cutting the cards of what feels right for me and what spirit tells me to stop and that's basically when I stop. To choose a crystal. There's three gemstones and, and stones in front of us and I want you to choose one. It doesn't matter. Take a break and see which one is drawing, is calling to you. Which one is drawing to you right now? Which one do you feel compelled that is the card that you need? No answers right, no answers wrong, it just is. I want this one. I feel more pulled to this one. I feel more pulled to that one. Whichever one you feel more pulled to, that's the card. So when you're gonna close your eyes right now, take a deep breath. Spirit guide me. What is the message that you have for me today? What is it that I need to know? Okay. Open your eyes and, and choose one. It's that simple. All right. I'm going to start flipping. If you chose this crystal, the energy of this one, is the card of a mother's love. All right, it says a mother is reaching out to you at this time and holding close to you. She knows how much you miss her and wants to remind you that this special bond of love can never be broken. So most likely this is a ancestor card, a mother card. It is also showing and telling you that you need to be more nurturing as well a mother's energy is always nurturing and is telling you to be more nurturing to yourself more kind to yourself others pay more closer attention to your children spend more time with them and is also telling you that a mother's energy probably a past relative is saying that she's here for you she hears you 
She understands that you need her and she wants you to remind you that she hasn't left you and she's by your side. And she loves you very, very much. Souls of a mother's energy. And let's see this one. New beginnings. There's a lot of this going on um, at this time, especially towards the end of the year, always. New beginnings. Everything in life is constantly vibrating and moving and therefore continuously changing and evolving. Amen. Be aware that a new beginning is on the horizon. Have courage and faith because right now, right now, life is trying to nudge you forward and move you in a new direction. And that is a very important um, message because when spirit is telling you to change and change and change, change directions, changes courses, leave things behind, let things go. Spirit wants you to be happy. Spirit wants for you to be abundant. Spirit wants for you to have joy in life. To start a new cycle, you have to let go of an old one. You know, God and Spirit is telling you right now that change needs to happen for new open doors to be wide open, you know. Holding on to little things of your past, you're preventing yourself and keeping that door halfway open, halfway closed and not open as it needs to be for new things to enter into your life. Um, new beginnings and transformation. It's like almost a card of death in the tarot, you know. One cycle must end for a new cycle to start. Spirit is also telling you that they're with you, they're guiding you, they they trying to nudge and push you in this direction because it's something that is good for you, you know? It's something that's prosperous for you. So here it goes. Go with the flow. Just go with the flow. You know, we may not know exactly what's gonna happen tomorrow, but it's about just surrendering to, to God and Spirit. You're guiding me. I know this is the path I need to take. I don't know how everything's gonna come out. I don't know how everything is gonna happen. I don't know how I'm going to make it from point A to B, but I got to let go and open my arms to something new. It's no longer benefiting me and the time for change is here. Okay, so let's go for card this one. And this one's really powerful as well. Intuitive nudges. Intuition is a language of the soul. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. We are all born and aware with a profound sense of inner knowing. Intuition is one of the greatest gifts we possess, which keeps us connected to our higher self, the universe, and to our divine spirit. Oh, this is true. Look at that third eye. It's a powerful, powerful card. Has there been something telling you to go a certain direction have you got that hunch <laughs> um it says follow your gut feeling with things that's the direction you need to go is something well it's spirit it's not just something if spirit is guiding you and giving you um hunches to do something you should go with it it's not going to mislead you it's telling you this for a reason and absolutely you need to move forward with it the plan it also shows if your gut feeling is telling you that something is not right, it's most likely not. Listen to spirit, listen to your hunches, follow it. Your inner voice never lies to you. It's better to do something about it now than to ignore it and then to regret it later. I don't know how many times that has happened to me. And people ask me this again, am I psychic? And they're talking about themselves. Everyone has a psychic ability. It's about nurturing it and taking care of it that helps it grow more. Um, we all have psychic abilities. Um, it's something natural, but when we take care of it, it could grow more and more. It has to be nurtured. It's a gift that God gave us all, and it's something that has to be nurtured to grow. If spirit is guiding you in a direction, you should go and follow it follow it and trust it it will never fail you all right everyone um so this is the reading for october 30th to november 7th 
um, I am Psychic Emmy Moon. You can also visit my website at emmymoon.com. Email me, message me. I also have Facebook, Psychic Emmy Moon. And thank you for watching this video. I look forward to doing the next video. And maybe I'll do Tyrant next time. Have a blessed day. Take care. Bye-bye.